This is Matthew Cratters, Bitcoin University. Today I want to answer the question, who owns Bitcoin in the US? What kind of people own Bitcoin? This is a follow-up to some of the more political videos that I've been making over the past few weeks. And we'll start with a question from Troy Cross, who's one of the authors of the study. What percentage of American Bitcoin owners do you think are libertarian? And then there's a choice of zero to four percent, four to eight percent etc. If you know the normal surveys, for example, the Gallup surveys that took place from 2000 to 2015, I'm not sure what the most update version of this is, but libertarians in the U.S. comprise roughly, some call it 18 to 27 percent of the electorate. So the result of this survey was very, very interesting because just 3 percent of the people who owned Bitcoin were libertarian in this study. This is the study we'll be referring to today, Understanding Bitcoin Adoption in the United States, Politics, Demographics, and Sentiment. And this is a study that was just published by the Nakamoto Project. I'd encourage you to give them a follow on Twitter if you can, and I'll link to them in the description notes below. You can also check out their website and download this survey for yourself for free. Troy Cross points out they only asked about Bitcoin ownership, not crypto ownership. We're sure that some subjects will conflate the two. Oh, yes, I have Bitcoin. It's called Solana. We did not try to correct for that. But we're going to assume that most people understand that Bitcoin is Bitcoin. 19 out of 20 Americans now recognize the word Bitcoin. And one out of seven Americans own Bitcoin or say they own Bitcoin. It's unclear whether that's ETF form held on an exchange like Coinbase or held in coin storage. This definitely shows again how early we still are. This was the study that Troy and his co-authors did. They did a random representative sample of US people, 3,538 people, and we could see ethnically based on annual income, educational, etc. This was a fairly random sample. Demographics, this conclusion was very, very interesting and surprising. We found no strong correlations across many dimensions, race, ethnicity, religion, relationship status, income, education, or financial literacy with owning Bitcoin. No strong correlations. The only correlation they found, which is not surprising, at least to me, age and gender were the exception. Bitcoin owners in the U.S. tend to be young and male, so they just definitely skew to the right side of this chart, the male side. We can see that people in their 70s and 80s are much less likely to own Bitcoin. And then the younger generations, especially once they get a job and start working and have money, tend to own uh, more Bitcoin. Troy goes on to discuss the most shocking result of this study. He's, he writes, like most everyone on this app, our critics in the media, academics who write about Bitcoin, and almost all politicians, we thought going into this study, Bitcoin ownership would skew towards the political right and towards libertarianism. And libertarianism in the U.S. tends to be right, what's called right libertarianism. Bitcoin owners look pretty much like the non-Bitcoin owners in our sample, mostly moderate. They were still a bit more prone to the political extremes on both liberal and the conservative than non-owners, statistically significant but small. Even stranger was the people who self-identified as very liberal or on a 10-point scale located themselves at the far left were the most likely to own Bitcoin relative to other political identities. Note that the above chart is not saying that more Bitcoiners are very liberal than any other political identity. They're not. Most Bitcoiners are moderates. It's saying that if you randomly pick someone very liberal and randomly pick someone who is moderate, the liberal will be more likely to own Bitcoin. I think that's a very interesting result. And then he goes on to talk about what the real correlations are if the demographics, politics, and moral foundations are not correlated with Bitcoin ownership. What is well, four key questions were better predictors than demographics or politics. One, number one, trust in the underlying technology of Bitcoin. It makes sense if you trust the technology, you're more likely to own it. Knowledge about Bitcoin. Belief in the utility of Bitcoin in everyday transactions or investment and the perceived morality of Bitcoin, including the beliefs that the technology is moral, that people who use Bitcoin are morally good, and that Bitcoin can improve society, which is basically my summary as well. Troy goes on to summarize his findings. From our polarized political discourse, one might be tempted to think that Bitcoin ownership is a kind of identity, and especially a kind of identity that reflects political orientation, as you might especially be tempted to think in election season here in the U.S., we found this not to be the case. Bitcoin owners are politically just like the rest of America, mostly moderate with smaller conservative and liberal contingents. Bitcoin owners look like other Americans in most demographic respects, with one striking exception. They tend to be younger and male. 
what correlates most strongly with Bitcoin ownership is not who you are, so to speak, but how much you know about Bitcoin and whether you think it is useful, trustworthy, and good. The 14% of Americans who own Bitcoin, it turns out, are not members of some particular political tribe. Rather, they are simply Americans who have taken the time to study the technology and formed positive attitudes about it. I think this is a very hopeful conclusion, and I wanted to give you guys a hopeful conclusion today after some fairly difficult videos the last few days. There is one possible diet bias in the data that occurred to me. Bitcoiners who value privacy will usually refuse to take surveys, and I'm one of these people. So that may skew things slightly. It's hard to tell. But I think the basic conclusions of the study make sense because sound money is for everyone, regardless of gender, race, age, income, politics, etc. And this makes sense because Bitcoin is just money after all. Everyone likes money and everyone wants their money to go further and purchase more goods and services over time. As it turns out, a lot of people in the U.S. may own Bitcoin, not because they have some ideological axe to grind, but simply because they don't want to get impoverished by holding melting U.S. dollar ice cubes. And I think as we move towards hyper-Bitcoinization, obviously the demographics of Bitcoin owners will look very much like the demographics of non-Bitcoin owners because Bitcoin will have become the dominant money. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe and like buttons. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.